what is going on everybody and welcome back we are playing some ufc for baby playing in this career mode you already know what time it is we are ranked nine in this ufc we actually went down one i don't know how that worked out but we've been winning we're 14 to no. we're doing work we, we had a good challenge on our hands you know a guy who's not ranked or anything like that came at us we declined that but we did go with this man daniel souza i want to say it's souza and that's what i'm going with but he's ranked 11 he challenged us on social media we reached out we set it up we got it squared away as you can tell my hype levels are always very high because I do all my promotions. We got six weeks to prepare. That is a long time. So we're going to have a good training camp and we're going to have some good peak performance out in that ring. We starting off low, obviously, in fitness, but that's okay. We're going we're gonna to get it to peak levels. We get 24000 if we show up, 24000 if we win. That's what we're talking about. He's 29 years old. He's 6'2". He weighs 184 pounds and he has a 74 inch reach. So we're gonna make it happen here. I'm gonna go ahead and transition and show you what was done on the social media side. Then we're gonna go ahead and get into the fight. All right, now that we're on the social media side of the things, you can take the time to read the thread if you would like. This guy's cool, so I'm not gonna taunt him. I'm just gonna improve our relationship. He seems like a good guy, so I'm not gonna do that to him. All right, coming up next, it's a UFC middleweight division fight. All right, well, he's one of the more accomplished Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu practitioners in this division, D.C., and I know how many chokes you have in your arsenal. Offensive Jiu-Jitsu, defensive Jiu-Jitsu doesn't get much better than this guy. It doesn't get as high level in terms of the Jiu-Jitsu knowledge. He knows in every exchange that he's the guy that's processing things at a different level, from the armbar submissions that he has shown in the octagon to the beautiful guillotine chokes that he does over and over again. And don't think that he won't roll for a knee bar and get a submission. Right. It's just constant danger when you're in the jiu-jitsu with this guy. And even the high-level wrestlers that he's fought have paused to try to take him down because of that patented guillotine. It's so truly a case of pick your poison with this Brazilian jiu-jitsu practitioner. Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the feet. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponents. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Our tale of the tape for this much-anticipated middleweight encounter. Two years apart, these two fighters with similar height and the same reach. We go inside the octagon here. Ladies and gentlemen, Buff this fight is three rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter holding a professional record of 20 wins, three losses. He stands six feet, two inches tall, weighing in at 184 pounds. Fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, Haymaker. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A boxer holding a professional record of 14 wins, no losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 175 pounds. Fighting out of New York, lights out. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. Are you ready? Let's go see. Is he sportsman? Oh, he's not sportsman. He's not a sportsman. We got to take him out. I will say we had an out. 
outstanding training camp. We are in the peak of the peak. So we definitely are going to try to hammer this guy as quickly as we can. This dude is a, a submission specialist, so we got to watch out. Because if he get us on the ground, we're in trouble. But right now, I don't know what this guy is doing. But he's going to be hurting if he keep messing around with me like this. You see? Oh, oh no! We're going down to the ground. We got to try to get up. We got to try to get up. Oh, no. Let's try to get up. Let's try to get up. There we go, yeah. Let's see. We gotta keep this fight on the ground. On the ground. Whoa, whoa, buddy, buddy. You wanna take a moment? Do you wanna take a moment? Think about what you're doing. Look at his nose, he's leaking. You are leaking, buddy. Oh no. Oh, no. Oh, that was good. That was nice. Did you see that? That was nice. Oh, li listen to the crowd. They're loving it. Oh, I missed. <laughs> oh, right into him. Right into him. Oh, no, he got me. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, no. Oh, no. This dude's just, oh, the submission specialist. We gotta run from him. We're gonna try to escape. We have to escape. Oh no, oh no, we got plenty of, oh no, this dude's gonna try to put us on. Oh, he's trying, oh we're out. We're out, we're out of here. Let's go, let's get up. Let's get up, okay. Woo! You see what I'm saying, this dude, hey, you gotta be careful. You gotta be careful. Ooh, let's go uppercut. Let's go Superman. We gotta put him out. We gotta put this dude out. We gotta put this guy out. He can't stay. I'm not gonna do you like that though. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do you like that. I'm not. I'm not, I'm gonna do you like this. I'ma do you I'm gonna I'ma do you like this. Come here, come here. Get on there. There we go. Lightning up a cut. That's what we're talking about. He's out. You ain't choking me out. You're not choking me out. Yes! Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. So there he is after a monumental knockout turned in here tonight. That is one they will be talking about for quite some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at 4 minutes, 12 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout. Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout okay. like that? Okay, that was a good fight. It was kind of short, but he almost got us up out of here. So we had to be killed. We had to put him away because we might have been in trouble. He was on. He was getting them submissions. He was definitely getting them submission game going. So it was a good fight. Round one. Unfortunately, he it was a round one knockout. He couldn't really handle our power, and we was hitting him hard. We really, 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 really was. So we got to take that into consideration when it came to it. But if you guys can, we're going to wrap it up here. Go ahead and like the video, subscribe if you haven't already, and leave a wonderful comment down below. I appreciate you guys, and I will see you on the next one.